So yesterday we uh, attended an online seminar by uh, the amazing and energetic Alice uh, McGlashan, uh, who was talking about strategies for building nesting boxes for native Australian uh, birds and small mammals. Uh, so this is something that we've been interested in for a while. And so today we went to uh, the green shed, which is like the, the garbage recycling plant and got some scraps of timber. And so our mission today has been to build a few nesting boxes. So some of the key design features of the nesting boxes um, are that they need to be fairly watertight. Um, and so we've got a, a flat lid here and this also allows you access um, if you need to, to get in, but it also overlaps the side to stop rain getting in. Um, there's, we've also used stainless steel screws um, just for durability and also timber that's about 16 mil uh, thick as well for durability. Here you can see um, the hole which the animal or bird will enter into the ne nesting box and this one's been designed for rosellas so they do have sort of particular preferences in terms of the size of the opening as well as the dimensions of the box itself. These little lines you can see here uh, also all the way down on the inside uh, and they are a bit of a ladder to help the bird um, grasp on with its claws and its beak to be able to climb up both inside and outside the hole. So we've used a selection of different timbers just based on what was available. Uh, the ideal thing for having a nesting box that's going to last for many years would be to use a hardwood timber. Uh, we didn't have access to any hardwood, but either marine ply or, or plywood uh, or pine uh, are alternatives. Uh, the pine doesn't work so well in sort of a tropical climate where it will quickly rot, um, but down where we are where the climate is a bit drier, then, uh, then you can get away with pine, which would still last a few years. And so as you can see from the, the bits that are laid out for this, uh, nesting box. Uh, some of these are uh, uh, two sheets of ply that have been screwed together. Uh, then we've got some pine. Uh, this stuff was actually part of an old treasure box or something that we found at the, at the tip shop. Um, uh, but yeah, so you want to make sure you don't use particle board or MDF or one of these other kinds of timber which is just going to turn to marsh as soon as it gets wet. One of the birds I've seen in my um, backyard here in Girilang in Canberra is a little pardalote. There is one um, species of pardalote that do uh, that will use nesting boxes. So we've got a design here which is much smaller than some of the other boxes that we've been building um, that we'll put together um, and hope to attract a pardalote. So I'm just going to run over. Um, the timber we're using for this partilote box with a sander. Um, really important on the inside to get rid of any, if you're using recycled timber, to get rid of any um, varnish or paint that might be in there so that the bird doesn't chew that up and it's potentially toxic to the bird. Um, but also on the outside, what we're gonna do is paint it with water-based paint so that it provides a little bit of camouflage but also weather protection for the timber. So partilote's like a little entrance tube into their um, nest and so we're going to use this about three centimeter hose to create that tube for them and i'm just going to drill a hole corresponding size into the front face of the box so i've just pre-drilled a little hole in this timber just because we're working with secondhand recycled timber and it could be a bit brittle and then i'm just going to screw with a stainless steel screw through to one secure this back to the side. So these grooves for the ladder uh, should be around about three millimetres uh, deep. Uh, it needs to be enough that the bird's kind of claws and, uh, and beak can uh, sort of grab hold of it so that they can make their way up the inside. Uh, so I put these grooves in uh, just using a, a cutting disc on the angle grinder. Uh, an alternate solution uh, is that you can use little bits of timber 
and uh, build, uh, screw those on, on the inside to build a bit of a ladder. Uh, I think both methods are used. Um, we had a little bit of a dispute about what was the best solution, um, so we compromised and did what Anne wanted. Uh, so this is the outside, uh, and again, you can see that we've put a little bit of a ladder in there. Uh, the logic behind that being that as the birds uh, approach on the wing, uh, then you want to provide a little bit of a surface for them to grab hold of when they land. Uh, one of the things though that Alice mentioned was not to make the landing too easy. So for instance, you wouldn't add a perch uh, on, the, on the outside uh, because really all that does is just invite predators, you know, it makes it easy pickings, uh, uh, it's a snack box. So I'm just giving the outside of these nesting boxes a coat of paint. Um, first of all, it's to help with waterproofness, weatherproofness and durability, but also just to, because we were using recycled timber, um, some of it's a bit leery um, so that it blends in with the environment around and we shall see um, how that goes. One of the issues um, that Alice spoke about was predation by birds such as currawongs. Um, and apparently making them blend in a little bit more to their natural environment will help um, uh, the currawongs, I guess, not see the nesting boxes. One of the things that's uh, useful to remember when you're putting a nesting box together is just to make sure you've got a little bit of a gradient on the, on the lid, on the top. Um, so you can see here there's about a 20 millimetre fall over, over the nesting box. And the idea there is just to make sure that uh, when it does rain, you don't have water left sitting uh, on, the, on the top and seeping in and, and causing rot. Uh, so uh, just allow for that little bit of a fall. So once again, the techniques that we've used today in putting these nesting boxes together, uh, we've just learned directly from uh, Alice McGlashan and, uh, and the fantastic information that she has put together. Uh, we recommend that you have a look at nesting box tails uh, which is available as a, as a Facebook group or nestails.com uh, and there you'll find PDF downloads and a wealth of information on putting nesting boxes together for bats, mammals um, and, and of course various birds.